What's going on, y'all? This be your boy, Skated by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yes for the Mess, where we talk about celebrity gossip, hot topics, and all things reality TV based. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Friday because it's TGIF, and I plan on doing the exact same. Now, before we get into today's mess, let's talk about what's coming up on the, hero- on the horizon. Now, as you guys know, every Monday is the Whether You Like It or Not panel, but there won't be a Whether You Like It or Not panel this week due to the fact that the Real Housewives of Atlanta won't be airing um, this Sunday due to the 4th of July. July weekend. So we will um, resume the week after on Josiah's World TV's platform. So make sure you guys tune into that. Boys Night Out will be returning later this summer. So make sure you guys are ready for that. And Rosa Review comes on every Wednesday um, at 8, 7 Central. And this time it will be over on Josiah's World TV's platform. So make sure you guys tune in. I'm not really sure if Love and Hip Hop Atlanta will be coming on Tuesday because I think Tuesday is actually the 4th of July. I'm not really sure if it's coming on or not. But when we get more information, we will let you guys know. So so with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get into the mess. And this is all about Drew Sedora. So we're going to start it off right here with Drew Sedora feeling some type of way about the shade that Kenya Moore dropped in regards to her um, video. Now, this comes from Urban Bell Mag and also the 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 um the audio comes from the Watch What Happens Live YouTube channel. Now, Kenya Moore was brought up during an interview on Watch What Happens Live. During the previous episode, Drew invited Kenya and everyone outside of Marlo Hampton to be a part of her music video for her song, Already Know. She decided to film the music video at a skating rink. Now, in the green screen, Kenya Moore said that Drew's music video seemed like a low-budget version of Beyonce's Blow. Now, let's get into what was actually said and how Drew really felt about what Kenya Moore had to say. Let's get into it. True Sador is here from the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and Preston Mitchum just wrapped up season one of Summer House Martha's Vineyard. And uh, my friend George Johnson is signing my book, All Boys Are Blue, a memoir manifesto on sale now. Second most banned book in the U.S. What was the most banned book? Uh, it's uh, by Maya Kobabe. I believe it's genderqueer. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the virtual audience. Lisa from Florida, what's your question for Drew? Hey, Andy, happy Pride Month to you, one of my sons, and a brand new son in law. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, My question is for Drew. Hi, Preston. Really enjoying Martha's Vineyard. Um, Drew, okay, you were talking about Kenya. So, what is your reaction to her saying your music video is giving off low budget Beyonce blow vibes? Listen. I was really sh- see. That's why I have a problem. Like, say it to my face. I'm gonna say it to your face, type of girl. I didn't like it, and so um, it was funny because I got a text message from her that was like, "Hey, babe," and I was like, "See, that is how you know." But I love Kenya because she had con- seen the episode. I know. And she and she knew like, it was- that went in there. Right, so right. I was hurt, of course, because that is someone I consider to be my friend, yeah. and I really spent a lot of money on it. And I was very proud of it, and she never said it to me. She was excited the whole time, right? And we had a ball. So of course it was like, well, dang, girl, I don't, I don't like that. So we're gonna address it though. We gonna talk, we gonna talk about it. Okay, here's Lauren from Seattle with a question for Preston. Okay, so that was Kenya Moore practically not Kenya Moore. So that was um, Drew Sedora practically addressing the situation that went down with Kenya Moore um, dissing her music video. And I think that her feelings are valid. I mean, if you're supposed to be somebody's, and I get that this is a show, they all throw shade at each other. I know that's going to be something that y'all, you know, put in my comments and stuff like that. We get it. I know they all throw shade at each other. But this is why I can't do no reality show because I cannot imagine me getting on my green screens and I'm like, like me and Jamar throw shade at each other all the time. That's nothing new. If you ever watched our prelude and and stuff like that, you've seen the shade that we throw at each other. So everybody knows that we stay throwing shade at each other. But at the same point in time, though, I feel like when you're friends with somebody, it's just certain things that you just don't say. And I get that there's fun shade involved in some of this stuff, but no, I just feel like Kenya kind of did the most with that. And I just don't agree with, you know, shading something that, you know, you know, your friend been wanting to do for a long time. We already know that Drew been trying to get her music out there since she's been on the show. And, you know, she's just trying to build up her platform the way that she needs to. And to say that it looks low budget, I mean, 
it's just like when people were saying that Candace's video was low budget when she did her dry back video. You know what I mean? Like we can throw fun shade about other things, but when it comes down to things that we are passionate about and you're supposed to be my friend, why are we throwing shade at that? So yes, her feelings were valid and Kenya is going to have to take accountability for what she said. And that's just the damn truth. Like, that's how I feel. I'm going to stand by that point blank in the period. It's just the truth. She going to have to stand beside that. And that's just it. Because no, like when I first saw that, because even with Drew saying she was, exi she was excited the entire time we was at the video shoot. So it comes across fake. Like you and my face being all excited, like Janet Jackson and Kaya and shit. But then, you know what I'm saying? You get in your green screen and then you want to shade me and call it low budget in a broke down version of Below by Beyonce. You feel what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I get exactly where Drew Sador is coming from. I definitely understand that. And no matter if I slightly like Kenya these days, she was fucking wrong. Next up is what she had to say about Ralph. Okay, now as we already know. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Drew Sedora made headlines after she filed from divorce with um, Ralph Pittman. Now, some Real Housewives of Atlanta fans took to social media to comment on the matter. And for some, this wasn't a, surpri a surprising development. In fact, they, they felt like red flags were easily visible since the cu former couple's debut on the show. The Tampa situation, as well as Ralph's inappropriate communication with the former assistant, were things... Um, critics of Ralph believe should have made Drew pull the plug on the marriage a lot sooner. So they strongly feel that Drew's sister, Allison Jordan, was correct when she labeled Ralph as a, as controlling and manipulative. OK, well, Drew was asked where well, Drew discussed Ralph during her recent appearance on Watch What Happens Live. So we're going to go ahead and get into that now. So let's listen in on what Drew had to say on Watch What Happens Live. Let's let's get into it. You know, this is your first time here since uh, you and Ralph uh, filed for divorce. I have some questions about your split. Um, is there truth to the rumor that you two were racing to the courthouse oh, to be God. first to file? Oh, Lord. <laughs> it wasn't a race. I... You want to consult with your attorney? <laughs> Make a phone call. No, no, no. It, um... I got to a point where enough was enough. Okay. And once he caught wind that I was planning to file... Right. Then it became a right. Okay. So then it became I don't know a if that's deflection or trying to change the narrative. Okay. Um, we, we've but... seen the two of you with your struggles. We've talked about this, Tampa, the whole thing. And there are some things that come up this season that okay. haven't aired yet. What ultimately was the straw that broke the camel's back? I think it was a culmination of yeah. just the years of enduring. Right. Um, and enduring. And as a wife, you know, my parents have been married for 60 years. So I only saw two people who loved each other yeah. and constantly fought for their marriage. That's how I was raised. Um, but I think at a point when it's public humiliation and dealing with things that are now coming out in front of the camera. And uh, it was a breaking point. That yeah. I um, how is your communication with Ralph right now? Non Poor, non-existent. I mean, we communicate about the kids, but good. Okay. In hindsight, were your sister's concerns about uh, Ralph being manipulative and controlling accurate? Ooh. Okay. Um, did he ever file for custody of Josiah? By the oh. way, no. He did. If you read the petition, he didn't mention him. Okay. How is his relationship with him? That was the first thing I thought of. I'm, I'm a little heartbroken because I know how much Josiah loves him and looked up to him. And yeah. it seemed like he was trying to do the right thing by him. So yeah, it seemed that way. Okay. And I'm not going to say he's not, I'm not okay. going to say that, but I think that, um, you know, there could be more, I just feel like it could be more cohesive. Okay. Um, I hope that he figured that out yeah I hope they figure for the that sake out. of the kids and yeah i think through this process i've really really tried to just protect the kids yeah good and good. everything um looking back do you think he was Ooh. faithful to you throughout Ooh. your marriage Ooh. <laughs> well i know that wasn't the case all right All right, so that was basically Drew 
Thank you answering the questions in regards um, to for... the situation with Ralph. Um, it looks like Drew is very hurt by this situation, and she got every right to be. I mean, um, she's been going through a lot of stuff with this marriage. Um, He's been putting her through a lot of stuff. He's made her look crazy all on social media and things of that nature. So I understand. And, you know, I think that she tried to protect Ralph for as long as she could. And I think she tried to protect herself for as long as she could. And even now she's, you know, talking about protecting the kids and trying not to make his make, you know, make rap look a certain type of way. But rap can only make himself look a certain type of way. Drew, you got to stop trying to protect him. But I'm glad that you are coming out and you are speaking about the situation and you're giving your side of the story. Because a lot of us that were viewers, we saw the writing on the wall. We definitely all saw the writing on the wall. We knew what was going on. We knew that this wasn't going to last too long because he was gaslighting you he he was manipulating you he wasn't asking questions he wasn't answering the questions the way he should have he was out in tampa and we don't know what he was doing there he was you know being inappropriate with the assistant he was so it could have been more things that could have possibly happened that you may not even know about so you know hopefully this becomes something for you in a sense where you you know, become triumphant at the end of all of this because you are a beautiful woman. You're very talented. And I really believe that you got a lot to come that's going for you. You got on Housewives of Atlanta. I think this is a great vehicle for you to, you know, express yourself, express your pain, um, put out an EP, you know, do some music that is, you know, talking about your marriage. You know what I mean? Like get on your marriage, a blige and do that. You know what I mean? Because we will buy it. I want to hear what you got to say. I want to know your feelings. I want to know your true feelings about this situation. Cash in on this whole thing, because there's a lot of women that may be going through what you're going through. So shout out to Drew Sidoro. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And also click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on any form of social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok will be down below in the description box. With that being said, y'all, you boys up out of here. And until my next video, I'll holler at you later. Bye.